Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good day or a good night depending on when you're watching this video. Tonight's video is about Miss Nadia Suleiman, aka Optimom, and what's been going on with her recently. Oh boy, you guys, okay. Now let me just first say I have been following Nadia pretty much ever since the big headlines came about that she was pregnant, trying to have all these eight kids. And I followed her when she was on Dr. Phil and Dr. Phil trying to help her and she was recently on Dr. Drew and I saw her on Dr. Drew as well. Let me just say, this woman, she's got serious, serious issues. I don't even know what to say about Miss Nadia. Okay, the new topic about Miss Nadia is that... CPS, which is Child Protective Services, came to her door, um, I think Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, after a complaint from her hairdresser, Nadia's hairdresser, because Nadia's hairdresser went to her house, I guess on Tuesday, and um, did her hair. She had a Brazilian blowout, everybody. She paid this hairdresser $500 for this hairstyle. Supposedly it was this hairstyle and some other ones that she hadn't paid her for. Okay, so she comes to the house. She is she the hairdresser see that there is graffiti uh in the back in the backyard, there's graffiti everywhere, I guess that the kids did. She goes into the house and she says like in squalor conditions that uh there's graffiti inside the house as well. Um she locked her kids supposedly in the room with a chair pressed up against it so that uh her kids couldn't get out and um, also N Nadia's uh, toilet wasn't working. I guess she has one bathroom y'all. She really needs at least four for all the kids that she has including herself but anyway her toilet wasn't working so um, her kids were outside using the potty toilets to go to the bathroom because her toilet wasn't working. The, the little one that's made for kids um, and her hairdresser found that so disgusting so when she left she uh reported her to cps and she said that she hated to do it that she knew not for many years she was a good friend and that she loved her but she just didn't want to see her kids suffer that way and she said that the kids were in bad shape that they had um no bottoms on they just had their shirts on and she said that she even used to do their hair uh, because you couldn't tell which ones were the girls and which ones were the boys when their hair wasn't done. So she said that she also has done that for her in the past. Okay, first of all you guys, what the hell is wrong with Nadia? This girl has really some serious mental issues. So she talks all nice and sweet, but she just doesn't get it. Oh yeah, she gets uh, $2,000 in, uh, in welfare money. I don't know how much she gets in food stamps. Y'all know, first of all, that's not enough to to really even feed you and one kid, let alone <laughs> 14. So, she gets $2,000 in, um, in welfare. And uh, she chose not to get her toilet fixed. The toilet man, the, the plumber had said that the toilet was going to be $150 and she said, oh no, that was too much money and she refused to um, get it fixed. But yet she got the, um, she got the kids out in the, in the potty toilet polys um, going outside and she's spending $500 on a hairstyle. That seemed a little odd to y'all. She is crazy. Stupid and crazy. You do not spend that kind of money on a hairdo. Even if this hairdo is built up, I mean, you don't do that. I mean, ugh, I don't know what to say about this woman. But anyway, CPS came to the house and after about an hour and a half they left saying that her kids weren't in no immediate danger that they were okay i'm pretty sure she tried to take care of her kids as much as, much as she can but she's only one person with 14 kids first of all she already had six kids to begin with so she didn't need any more what on earth would, would possess her to have more is beyond me she's never been married she did not have a boyfriend like you know she got artificially inseminated y'all know this and there's no there's no guys around her poor family her poor parents gave her a house so that she could get out of their house because it was too many kids staying there then you know but she had already had her kids I think when she went to go stay when she was living with her family but 
there's a new update. Okay, that I just saw tonight. Nadia has supposed has responded to the complaints about her kids living in squalor. She basically said that the hairstyle that she paid for was not just this one. It was this one and like 14 other ones that totaled to $500. Okay. Does that add, does that add up to $500 to y'all? That still seemed a little high to me, but okay. This is what she said. Okay. <laughs> this is what she said. Then she said that she did get her toilet fixed the next day and that she did the kids were outside on the potty toilets but they were outside because her bathroom wasn't working but it is fixed now and that there is graffiti in the house but there's nothing her kids are not messing up her house she still has maid service and she basically believes that uh, she got set up by her friend that she wasn't really looking out for her best interest and the interviewer asked her, did she want to have any more kids? And she said, no, never, 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 never. Well, it's about damn time. I mean, it takes you to have 14 to say never, never, never. You should have stopped at three. Okay? I'll say three. I won't say one. I won't say two. Three. Three. She already had six and then had the eight more. Uh-uh. No. That doesn't fly with everybody. That's why we're all so upset. Having all those, all those kids and you already had enough to begin with. Well, like she didn't have none or one or even two. She already had six kids, everybody, and was trying to have some more kids. Yep, she's she's loony. So um, <laughs> so anyway, she basically just said that uh oh, she also said that her welfare is going to stop as of next month. That she's doing jobs different kind of jobs and she won't have her welfare money no more that she'll be working and paying her own way I don't know about that 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 damn lady got 14 kids what kind of damn job are you gonna be doing where you can support all of them doctor lawyer yeah what else you're going to be working day and night just to have money and you still ain't got enough money to feed your kids. That's a lot of kids, y'all, and it's just her. Ain't nobody else helping her. I mean, no other man or husband or whatever. And even then, that's still a lot of mouths to feed, you know, for all these kids. She's talking about her welfare's going to end. We'll see. I don't think so. But anyway, y'all, that's the update on that. I'm going to post the link below to her um article as well so if you want to check that out you can but um again i'm dying to know what you all think about this particular topic on miss nadia Suleiman. let me know what you think uh send me some comments okay let me know um don't forget to comment on the video rate the video and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel okay and i hope you all have a good day and a good night and until the next time hope to see you in the next hope to see you on my next video or when i do my next video okay all right everybody <laughs> take care bye bye